Hello and welcome to the Oi Let's Talk podcast. I'm Kate. And I'm Gemma. Two friends talking fitness, mindset, business and everything else in between. We really mean everything. Expect banter, education and organised chaos. Your Your new new podcast podcast besties. besties. Welcome back to another episode of Oi Let's Talk. Thank you guys for tuning in again for another week. And we hope you loved our last episode. Today, we're going to talk about five things we're loving right now. Which is really rogue and random. We are. But sometimes I love filming episodes. And maybe you guys can give us feedback on this as well. Yeah. Where we just talk a bunch of shit. Yeah. It's what we're good at. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes the deep, the meaningful podcast conversations are fucking it. Yeah. And then sometimes just talking shit and having a laugh is even more. So It's balance. It's balanced. Yeah. So we compiled a list, five things each, of the things that we're loving at the moment. And there was no rules around these lists. It was literally just... What came to mind. What came to mind, things that we're really enjoying, and we can share the stuff that we love with you guys at the moment. Let's get into it. I'm I'm f- <laughs> you need to go first, because I already know what your number one is, and I have this image burnt in my brain. Okay. I know that I'm only 30. But all I think about at the moment and look at and make Pinterest folders of and watch is things related to gardening. I mean, it's it's on brand for you because you've just bought a house. Yep. If you haven't listened to our previous episode about Gemma talking What's about her about? house. <laughs> the fuck are you doing here? Go back, listen to the other one and then come back. come back here. But it's very on brand for you at the moment. However, can I please tell the people what I envision in my brain? Yeah, I'm interested. (laughs) So before we start our potty every time, we always go and get a bagel next door, coffee and bagel. That's like the tradition. And Gemma was like, well, one of my things is gardening. I said, don't tell me because I want to say this on the (laughs) podcast. So this is what I envision. You in overalls. Yeah. With a broad brim hat with the little corks (laughs) on a sunny afternoon gardening you've got gloves on yeah even better you know those mulch scoopers the big green ones you've got those on like edward's scoop hands both hands you're disarmed you can't do anything and you know what we have to protect your knees so when you're leaning down you've got one of those leaning pads no knee pads on both of the overalls like in build. But you know those green things my mum used to use them that yeah. you put on the ground so then you kneel on so when you're clipping your clippings, you're protecting your knees. That and will, that's the vision in my brain. That will be me, without a doubt. <laughs> what am I doing for fun at the moment? Uh, ben and I are watching an episode a night or a week of Dream Gardens Australia on ABC iView and we save episodes. I didn't even know that that was even a show. It's a whole show. Like Just, Grand Designs? Like I love Grand Designs and Kevin, but this is more about like Australian, mainly Victorian houses and yeah. they just go to a new house and they build a garden or change a garden and it's like a big thing, like massive renovations to the gardens. Okay. But I'm heavily invested in this show. And these are like gardens of people's homes? Yeah, like really nice gardens. Right. But I'm, I'm really into gardening at the moment. So you'll be the next feature on this gardening show. For sure. Show. I love that. <laughs> and like I am envisioning me on a Sunday for fun, gardening. Absolutely. I don't know when that happened. If there was a time when I'd be going out Thursday, Friday, Saturday and drinking, but now we're gardening. Yeah, so, so if you meet Gemma the over the weekend, she's in the garden with her double mulches on. <laughs> What's your number one? One of the things that I'm loving at the moment, which is not got to do with gardening at all and it's not that adventurous, is my Yeezy foam runners. Are you wearing them right now? I'm going to show you guys. I'm not wearing them, but if you're listening, Google them. If you're watching, these i think these are quite a contentious topic people either love these shoes or they hate them but you know why i love them i'm imagining the aeration i'm imagining freedom so the pros and cons of this shoe i'm really loving them one because i feel like everyone thinks they're fucking ugly and every time i wear them someone always makes a comment about them yeah whatever haters gonna hate right yeah but the reason i love them is because they are so comfy yeah They don't look like they're going to be comfortable, but they are so comfortable. And also I feel like they go with any outfit, probably not the outfit I'm wearing today, but like any kind of streetwear, active wear, they're a vibe. The only con that I have to them is you can't wear them without socks. Well, you can, but your feet get a little bit sweaty because they are like a foam material. And I know they're controversial, but I'm fucking loving them and I can't take them off my feet ever since I got them. Shout out to Amand for buying them for me. That's so nice. Um, I would love to know what people think about them. It's a very hard yes or a no as far as I'm concerned. 
you're a no. You you directly looked into my eyes one time and you said, I don't like them. I don't know about that. You did. Yeah. We're on I'm Studio not sold Hampton. on them. Oh. Yeah, but I well, don't maybe. I don't I need to put I need to slip my little foot in there. I was just about and to say. And I need say. to see what they feel like. I think maybe after today you can pop it on yeah. and you can give another review on them. Right. But I would love to hear if you guys have a pair, if you love them, or yeah. if you don't have a pair, if you find them ugly or not. Yeah. I did a poll on my Instagram and like 80% of people said they were ugly. So <laughs> they all got blocked. No kidding. <laughs> well, it was gone down a lot recently. <laughs> um, my number two is still sticking on brand with the gardens. And at the moment I'm spending a lot of time watching YouTube videos to do with interior design fair again again. on the same theme but more so because I plan on staying in this house and Ben and I plan on staying there for a long time I'm putting a lot of pressure not really but kind of on just like not wanting to fuck up the flow of the furniture and like what to get Mm. didn't realize how big of a like a thing this is yeah like art deco mid-century modern Californian bungalow. There's like all of these things that I've discovered recently. You're like, what is this? What is this? And that, but like, then they all have their own like kind of rules mm. with how they're styled. So I'm going pretty deep on that at the moment. Have you picked a style that you guys are going for? Art Deco. Okay. But if anyone who's really into design and is really smart listens to this, you're probably going to cringe. But I think I'm going to blend two. So like, I okay. like Art Deco, um, but I really like like natural, bright, and warm colors, which yeah. is more so. It's like Californian bungalow style. Yeah. So similar. Sweet. I'm going to put the two together. This is really fun. I love homeware shopping, furniture shopping, anything to do with making like your house cozy in a home. I'm really excited. I love this for you. And something that I love about Ben is because he is artistic and creative, he is so heavily into this process. So he's like drawing out blueprints love. and like drawing the things and like making Pinterest folders by himself. Like I'll like come into the room and he'll be like, putting things into a Pinterest folder. <laughs> and then I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, I've got lots of these. I and like, even that. on Instagram, he's got little folders. Well, it makes sense. And it also makes it easier for you guys. Like when so you're looking for a couch or a well, dining table. it's not table. just one of us who's like really into it. It's like, we're both like yeah. heavily invested. Yeah. So that's my two. How cool though, because I know Amand, like when, if you guys, not that any of you would ever come to my house, but if you were to ever come to I my would house like to one come. day, you've been there multiple times. <laughs> you can see it's all designed by me. There's not a single <laughs> bit of boy touch other than like one or two things, but yeah. he just doesn't care for that stuff yeah i mean if he's laid back that's probably yeah easy. and like anything i buy he's like fuck yeah that's sick like i've got like a really beautiful stone coffee table yeah if anyone's seen it on instagram everybody always asks me it's from n gold en dot g-o-l-d if you guys want to get yourself one it's beautiful it's like a stone coffee table stunning um and he loves all of that stuff but like he would never pick out anything for the house it's always up to me yeah but he's flexy which is good Flexy's good all right Another thing that I'm really loving, which is really rogue and random, is spending less time on my phone. So less screen time. Yeah. In the last probably two months, I've made it like a really, a real conscious effort, I would say, to actually follow my do not disturb on my phone. So I put, I have it timed. It's called self-care. You can name your do not disturb if you guys didn't know. So you can name your do not disturb. It can be self-care, me time, whatever you want to call it. Mine's called self-care and it goes on at 8 p.m. And it doesn't turn on until 8 a.m. the next morning. However, I used to just like break the rules and continue being on my phone past 8 p.m. But now I'm trying really hard to have consciously less screen time and reading again because I'm a big bookworm. I love anything personal development, business, all of that kind of stuff books. I can't get into fiction books but I really want to get into those Colleen Hoover books oh yeah I've seen a lot of people read those yeah Yeah. I don't know anything about them I don't know what it's about do you not read not enough at all really (laughs) I tried to soften the blow by being like not enough and I'm like no really yeah do you have you ever been a book reader though or not really no I don't know if it's I don't know what it is but I just like really struggle to concentrate yeah fair. yeah um i bought books with the full intention and i actually have two books saved that i want to read in the new year what are they um i've got them saved i have to look at what they call one of them is a relationship book yeah um that was written by a divorce lawyer just talking about like the top things that they'd recommend for a like long term mm. thinking of like how you can grow yeah and develop your relationship which i liked and the other one i think was the art of being disliked or something like that I've saved Mm. them I'll send them so I plan on trying to read but I just I think what I need to make sure I do and this is probably a good goal for the new year is not always filling time with the thing Mm. 
like having time for reading yeah yeah absolutely and that's what I've been practicing is like actually just having less screen time not being like and as well being a business owner you never switch off like when you've got that entrepreneurial mindset you're always like I can be doing more I could be doing this I could do this I could reply to this email it's like chill the fuck out you psychopath and relax yeah so I've been doing less screen time and trying to introduce more reading yeah if you guys have any good book book recommendations please dm us on instagram and let us know i have literally a whole list i'm a like i said i'm a big bookworm i love reading very much mindset personal development business kind of style yeah um but I would really like to get into some nonfiction, so I'm not like using my brain in a business way, but I have a huge list of books. So if anyone wants it, DM the Oil Let's Talk podcast and I'll send it to you because I've got so many. One of the best books actually that you would really like, Gem, yeah. how, to, um, how to Win Friends and Influence People. I actually have probably bought that. It is and haven't such read it. a good read. Yeah. It is pretty much about like how to become an active listener yeah. how to actually pay attention, not interrupt people when they're speaking, la di da da But it's a really fucking good book around like, yeah, everyone should read it and think and grow rich if you have shit money mindset. Yeah. Not that you do, but I'm just saying for anyone that's oh. listening. <laughs> actually, we were reading in bed. This was a good routine that I liked. We should get back into it as in Ben and I were reading to each other about, what's that? Everyone has it, that book about... Um, Atomic Habits. No, the oh. one about finance and like having your like, barefoot investor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we're like reading that in bed together, and that was really good. Like That's as a, a thing really good to book do together. Too. And then also talking about like your your date night fund, and then your yes, this and that, and then yeah. your long time goals, which I loved. I don't budget. Somebody asked me this question: How do you like go overseas and live your best life and run a business? Um, What's your budget? I'm like, I don't have a fucking budget. Like, obviously, I have money where I save per week. I put yeah, money yeah. into a tax account, all of that, la di da. But like, in terms of just living my life, I just go hard. Yeah, go hard or go home. I mean, if you have, if you can afford to do that, yeah. I just have never been a budgeter though. Like, I'm good but at you saving cover all of your expenses. So yeah. You're not- yeah, I'm good at saving. Like, I can save and I can pay my bills and do all of that. But I've just never like run to a budget like having like a date night fund or doing anything yeah, like I've, that no, I haven't either really I've had like an emergency fund yeah emergency like for sure or whatever but no not really strict unless I had like a, a really hard goal that I was going yeah for. yeah maybe I should do that this is just a bit random but like after dinner going for a walk together with Finn good for their digestion I was literally doll. just gonna say that because mm. with daylight savings which I love I and also depending on what time Ben gets home it could be like seven or eight it's not really that much time to hang out yeah so I actually really like the routine of like having dinner and then doing like a 20 minute walk talking catching up and then going to bed so really a big fan of that at the moment so a late night walk or like like an after dinner walk like 8 p.m 8 30 beautiful nine yeah Yeah, maybe 8 30 (laughs) maybe 8 (laughs) 30 And also when it's warmer at night, I feel it's like really those nice. warm, balmy nights in summer. Oh, I also kiss. live on the best street. I'm actually going to be sad when I move because the pretty much everyone on our street that has a dog twice a day, there is the option to walk with them <gasps> and catch up with their dogs. So I think it's like 7.30 in the morning and 7.30 at night. That's so They cute. always go to the Oval and then play. And then I bought Finn up there the other day and he was just chasing around this whippet and it was great. Bless. Yeah. I love that. Um, another thing, which is a little bit of a controversial one, AirPod Pro Maxes. I want to get them for Christmas because you've sold me. Honestly, when I bought them, do you know how many fucking DMs? I reckon I had over 100 DMs of people asking me, give me a review, give me a review. So this is the review that you guys have been waiting for. Yeah. AirPod Pro Maxes, if you don't know what they are, Google them, but they're the overhead headphones. And I've never really been an overhead headphone girly. Like, to be honest, I usually have my little AirPods in my ears and that's enough for me. They are the best. These are so good. Yeah, Yeah, they have. So I've never been an over the head AirPod girl, uh, headphone girly, sorry. I've always really had the AirPods, but I did buy Beats once upon a time, like years ago when I first started getting into the gym and I like them, but they kept slipping off my head. Yeah. So pros and cons of the AirPod Max is they do slip off your head if you're doing like a bench press or something. But yeah. like, I assume that would be with every... M- most headphones, yeah. yeah. Majority of people say that the case is fucking weird because you like carry it like a little bag. Like it has like, I should have bought them, but it's got like a little slip on case. Yeah. Like, who cares about the case? When are you ever going to carry them? You're going to have them on your head or around your neck. Like, that's you not a deciding put them on factor. You leave. Yeah. 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 Um, love that they've got the option to have sound cancelling on or off. So, like, if you don't want it on, you can turn it off. If you want it 
on. It's like literally you cannot hear anything around you, which is amazing. Yeah. You try them on the plane home. I loved them. There was a kid screaming behind me. You put them on my head Silence. and then I could hear nothing. Yeah. I was like, it's amazing. Like based on purely just that. Yes. Yeah. The only thing I would not recommend is walking the streets with your sound cancelling on. No, dangerous. Very dangerous. Yeah. And this happened to me when I was babysitting Finn. A yeah, lady, when you told me this. Yeah, yes. a lady ran up behind me and obviously I had the sound cancelling on and she tapped me on the shoulder and me and Finn shit our pants. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's my lesson learned to never walk with sound cancelling I'd be on. terrified. But honestly, easily connected to your phone. The, it's loud enough. Like you don't need to have your music suit like all the way up, full volume. It's loud enough. You can answer phone calls. You can listen to podcasts. You can turn your sound cancelling on and off. Yes, they are expensive. They're like $890 or $900 for headphones. They're quite expensive, but yep. I highly rate them and they look real cute. Yeah, they are real cute. I look cute. like a little iPad kid when I wear them. I like them. Yeah, I'm going to get they're on my Christmas list, Buy which them. I wrote for myself. Good. We actually decided no Christmas presents this year. We're just going to get each other house presents. Which I love. I mean, yeah, that I'm makes sense. That. But add that to your list to buy for yourself. For sure. I've got what colour? Um, I was don't even know what they've got, but in my head I feel like they've got like a grey colour and a white colour. They've got yeah, black or white. Oh, then I'd get white. I currently yeah. already have black over your headphones. So Do maybe white. white. Actually the only other con to the white, because I have the white I was say makeup. Maxis, is the makeup. Yeah. So Covers? obviously, yeah, like the little foam things that go on your ears are fabric. So you can like you can actually pull them out and wash them. So not put them in a washing machine, but wipe them over. Yeah. Um, and the makeup comes out relatively easy and that, like with a micellar water or something. Yeah. But I just bought silicon covers. They're white silicon covers, they slip over and you just wipe them. Yeah. Because it's silicon. So makeup, it's not really an issue. To be honest, I don't really usually wear them with like a full face of makeup, but I have before and it's fine. Yeah. I was, I was thinking yeah. about that. Um, the other one I was going to say was fancy slash nice dinners out early over a night out. Slay. I really like the that idea. That turns me on. Yeah. That gets me going. So yeah. like just the idea, like Shiv, my best friend was speaking about like just the idea of actually just planning like a fancy dinner somewhere, experiencing one of the places mm. that we've always wanted to go to. And then like, that's what we would spend our money on rather than imagine like a big night out, mm -hmm. like how you feel shit the next day and it kind of just escalates. And I was just, that's what I would rather spend money on. And also just the experience. Yeah. And then being in bed by like nine or 10 is the best. So, so can early we do, dinner. Can we do some of those. Yeah. Yeah. Early dinner, 6 p.m., even 5.30 bookings, yeah. slay. Yeah. Home by nine, makeup off, skincare on, slipped into my little bed, you with your fucking bonnet on, Yeah, we're on. Yeah, Perfect. That, is, that is my idea of a good time at the yeah. moment. Going out, waiting in line for a I, oh, This is the thing I always I think, think about. I don't think I could. Obviously, we used to be rats back in little the day. Rats. We yeah, were yeah. little sewer rats for crawling sure. out of Chapel Street sewers. King Street. Oh. Okay, I didn't go to King Street. That's too hard for me. <laughs> okay. But... All right. <laughs> Can't even judge you. Okay. <laughs> but I was literally a Chapel Street sewer rat back in the day. I used to go out Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The thought of lining up outside a club. I watch like sometimes I sometimes the sun grows up. like I'm doing security in Chapel Street driving past. The other day I was coming home from dinner after a wild fucking night. I told you about it, which we're not going to say on the podcast. Oh, no, Sorry, no. guys. It's no. fucking hectic. Wild night. I'm driving home and I'm driving up Chapel Street. And like there's it's like 1130, nearly 12 o'clock at night. And there's people lining up to go to a club. And I was like, you could not pay me to do that. You could not pay me. Like 9 p.m. bed, me saying 1130 driving. It was yeah. a dinner. Yeah. But 9 p.m. bed is like my love language yeah i really love that and i also love like small intimate can actually have a conversation can actually enjoy good food yeah. over like what did you say can't hear you you know what i mean yeah. but it's just like you're yelling because you're competing with like everybody else yeah I also lose my voice so easily. Yeah. yeah. And don't get me wrong. I do like a great R&B club where I can shake my booty on the Few dance floor. Few and far floor. between though. That's fun because it's it's so yeah. rare. But it's going out for like two hours to the club max and being home still by 10.30. Yeah. Um, okay. Another thing that I'm really loving is clean girl aesthetic TikTok videos. Now this is very niche. So hear me out. I Cleaning love or the makeup? So clean girl aesthetic yeah, yeah. TikTok videos. Yeah. So like get ready with me. And they're like small little clips of girls like doing their skincare and like flicking the containers off. And it's like a bit of ASMR. Yeah. I love that. There's two girls that I follow. Claudia, Michaela, I can't remember their names. These two girls, one, 
they're absolutely beautiful. Yeah. But two, they're funny as fuck. And three, these videos are so aesthetically pleasing and it's got like a mix of ASMR, like getting ready for the gym kind of vibe. And I've just been binging them. And the reason I put this in here is because Amand hates them. Every time he hears them, he's like, turn it down. That noise is so annoying. Because I feel like you either love ASMR or you hate ASMR. I like it. I love it. I also just like the look of clean girl makeup. Same. I just feel like it just looks so fresh. Yeah. I haven't quite nailed it, but I love like looking at it and like less products, but yep. really good like skincare. So big fan. Oh, any of those like get ready with me and they're like little clips where they're doing the skin, uh, snail mucin on their face. Yeah. Oh, love it. Yeah. Um, I had one that was what you've already said. So I'm just going to add another one in there because like the do not disturb and actually like just tapping out on yeah. socials, but TikTok over Instagram what yeah as in as a viewer i enjoy consuming tiktok more it's kind of swaying back to instagram more because i'm enjoying instagram more at the moment but Mm. i have gone through a big period of just being like i like tiktok more from a video point of view absolutely from a video point of view it's very much like someone picking up their phone and having a conversation and recording it and Instagram is beautiful and aesthetic, but very polished, mm. which is fine. I play that game as well. I do that. And I like the videos that we both make. Mm. But the thing that I like about TikTok is you could have like the shittest quality video, but if the content of that video was funny or like timed mm. really well, or you're getting like a point of view of someone on the other side of the world, like I just feel like con- as a consumer, mm. I prefer watching that. I also agree. I like TikTok for mindless consuming. So I know that probably sounds bad, but like I like TikTok for the clean girl aesthetic videos, the ASMR stuff, nothing to do with business, nothing to do with like buying products or looking into potentially working with a coach or doing X, Y, and Z. Yeah. I love TikTok for that because it's just mindless and it's unpolished. People just get on talk shit. That's my favorite part. Yeah. Which I love. Yeah. But when I think about what I use more, I still use Instagram more than I use TikTok. I think as well because Instagram is a smaller audience Mm. in terms of like, I've got my close friends on there. I've got people that have followed me forever and I feel more connected to that community Mm. as a poster because I had post very sporadically on TikTok. So I would still say the same thing. Like I feel Mm. more connected to that community. But as a viewer. But as a viewer, TikTok is just like, I could type in something educational or funny or like just it picks up what I like to watch yeah. and then that's what keeps coming. I love TikTok just for a good lull. Yeah. Um, okay. My last thing out of my five dongles. Love a dongle. Fucking random. I didn't know about this. So I have like a, we I actually, do. we both do actually, yeah. we have like professional cameras, like the Sony a 6400 is what majority of our shooting is on. Yeah. Um, and then I also just recently bought the, mark so nice mark two mark three canon whatever it is yeah which is just like that typical small digital camera that like every influencer fucking con- content creator uses yeah but the photos with the flash and the video footage is crystal clear phenomenal yeah but i always had this issue of like getting the camera footage because obviously it's with an sd card from the sd card got to put it on my computer then airdrop it to my phone until the beautiful guy at jb hi-fi informed me that i've been doing it wrong yeah So you can actually just buy a dongle, which plugs directly into like your iPhone, the bottom of your iPhone. And you put it in, put the SD card in and it automatically imports into your camera roll on your phone. Once you showed me that in Bali, I got one instantly and it's made me use my camera so much more. The quality is better. It's so much quicker. And there's no resistance of, fuck, I need to go home, put it on my computer, then airdrop it to my phone. It's like I can literally plug it in, select the photos I want, Bob's your uncle, uploaded, done. Yeah, actually so handy. So good. So good. What other technical, like trying to think of like other technology things that I've gotten recently that have made my life easier. The one thing that I really want to buy and one of my girlfriends, Soph, actually showed me this. So... When you're cooking and you get like crumbs or whatever on the table, there's like a mini oh, vacuum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it sucks up all the stuff and then you just empty you it into the... You can have those in your desk as well. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. That's such a good idea because I hate food scrapping foods onto my hands and then they stick and you've got to like put them in nah. the sink. It's just too many processes. If I could just get one of those. So maybe I'll add that to my Amazon order. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, I think I've done them all. That was fine. That was fine. Yeah. If not, I'm just going to say I love fresh flowers. <gasps> just a bouquet yeah. of fresh flowers every fortnight and I'm a happy gal. Yeah, that's yeah. stunning. What's your go-to flower? 
I actually just always go for like Australian natives with some pop of mm. color because they last forever. Yeah. And I just have them and it just makes me happy coming I home. I really like tulips. Oh yeah, tulips. Nice. Not that I ever really buy them for myself, but. Do you want some tulips? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> please, <laughs> please, please, mum. Um, okay, well that wraps up this Another episode. episode. They were 10. Yes. Five and five is 10, Kate. Good Quick job. Um, that is 10 random things that we're absolutely loving, loving at, at the, the moment. moment. Vibing. Vibing, super random. But of course, if you did enjoy today's episode, you know what to do. We currently have a goal. We want to get to 100 five star reviews on our Spotify. We're currently sitting. Let's say 70 ish now. Yeah. now. I don't know. I need to have a, another. I need to have another look. Um, but if you could rate this podcast five stars, tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tag Share us across it. social media. Yeah. You can find us on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram. Thank you guys for listening. And we love you so much. Love you. Bye. Bye.